Whoa, get ready. Dive into the fascinating world of statistics, where numbers become stories and puzzles become discoveries. Let's jump right into it. Welcome, curious minds. Before we dive into the world of statistics, let's play a quick game. Picture your school. It's lunchtime and everyone's lining up at the ice cream truck. Now, can you guess what the most popular ice cream flavor in your school might be? Is it the classic vanilla? Or maybe the rich chocolate? Or perhaps even the tangy strawberry? Maybe something more exotic like mint chocolate chip? Take a moment, think about it, and lock in your answer. No cheating now. This little guessing game will give us a fun way to explore the powerful magic of population versus sample. So, keep your answer in mind as we dive into our journey. Ready? Let's get started. Friends, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to this channel for more statistical fun. Alright, let's begin. Ever pondered how one can predict the favorite ice cream flavor in your entire school just by asking a handful of students? It may sound like magic, but it's not. It's a science called statistics. Buckle up for an exciting journey where we unveil the magic behind the science. Imagine a giant jar filled with jelly beans. Different colors, different flavors. Now, think about your school, chock full with students. Different grades, different favorites. In a way, your school is like that giant jar of jelly beans. This whole jar, or your entire school, is what statisticians call a population. But wait a minute, it's nearly impossible to ask each jelly bean about its flavor, isn't it? Same goes for your school. It's quite a task to ask everyone about their favorite ice cream flavor. So what do we do? We take a handful of jelly beans or we ask a few students. That, dear listeners, is a sample. Just like one might pick a handful of jelly beans to get an idea of the flavors in the jar, statisticians often select a sample from the population to understand more about it. That's how we can guess the most loved ice cream flavor in your school without asking everyone. Remember, the key here is randomness. Imagine if you only asked your best friends about their favorite ice cream flavor. They might just all love strawberry because you do. But does that mean everyone in the school loves strawberry? Probably not. That's why it's crucial to pick a sample that's truly representative of the whole population. Much like how a handful of jelly beans can offer an insight into the contents of the jar, a representative sample, a small group accurately reflecting the characteristics of the larger group, can provide valuable information about a population. An apt example would be, if we're trying to determine the most popular ice cream flavor in your school, a representative sample would encompass students from all grades, all classes, and all friend circles. It wouldn't be limited to just your immediate friends or solely the fifth graders. This ensures a diverse sample, mirroring the entire school, hence making our ice cream flavor forecast more precise. However, it's important to note that these samples provide helpful estimates. They act as clues that guide us in making informed assumptions. However, we must remember that they may not always be completely precise. Having a diverse and representative sample is crucial in making accurate predictions. A sample that truly reflects the population or characteristics being studied is essential for making reliable forecasts and drawing meaningful conclusions. To sum it up, a population is like the whole jar of jelly beans or everyone in your school. A sample, on the other hand, is like a handful of those jelly beans or a few students from your school. By studying the sample, we can make educated guesses about the population, but remember they are just that, guesses. Through the magic of statistics, we can predict what the whole group might think or prefer based on a small group. So, the next time you see a jar full of jelly beans or think about everyone's favorite ice cream flavor at school, remember the science behind the magic? It's all about the sample and the population! Now remember the ice cream flavor guessing game we played at the beginning? We had a variety of flavors. Vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, mint chocolate chip, and so many more. Based on a sample of our audience, the most popular flavor came out to be... Chocolate. But how did we arrive at this conclusion? It all comes down to statistics. By sampling a small group and using the principles we've discussed, we were able to predict the favorite flavor of the larger group. And there you have it. That's the power of statistics in action. It's not just magic, it's science.